nothing wrong with your television set. YouTube is controlling the content. Boy, you gotta be a pretty old dude like me if you remember the intro to that TV show from back in the early 60s. A series called The Outer Limits, which was remade probably 20 years ago. Uh, I still like the old version better. But anyway, there was a strange phenomenon I noticed about these uh, neon bulbs that they put in these uh, computer uh, distribution units here where you plug in all your peripherals and you can switch them on and off. Is that when you turn the lights out, like this, they start flashing. And then when you turn the lights back on, they look perfectly normal. Well, what's up with that? I think we're going to take a look into that and see uh, why neon bulbs do that. And maybe we can come up with something. Well, as you know, neon lamps come in a wide variety of bases. This is kind of an unusual one. I don't even remember where I've got this, but a uh, long time ago, uh, pulled it out of something, but it's a NE32, and it's uh, got quite the unusual uh, electrodes inside. Most of them uh, that you'll run into are of this variety. They're called the uh, NE2 style, and uh, they all have two elements in them, and uh, you, you can see them there. The original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite. Here's one that's uh, made into a uh, tester, you know, 110 volt tester. You just put the leads in it and it lights up when you have a, uh, an AC current going to it. So fitted to the ambipatient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. And uh, this one, I, I don't have one exactly like this, but you can also find them in this type of base. Uh, for uh, old radios and I even have uh, even use one of these in uh, some of my test equipment here like in this uh, Heathkit VTVM you can see the indicator right there so they're used in quite a few places and uh, uh, they have some uh, unique characteristics to them uh, as you can see in in this image here that uh, the two elements do not touch each other you can see there so uh, they don't really conduct any current uh, until they begin to uh, give off the glow or ionize as it's supposed to be and then I'll show you a little indication here I have this capacitor tester it can produce a wide variety of working voltages but uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, see if I can hold down the test button here and turn the voltage up and you'll see this thing light up there it goes and as soon as it begins to uh, uh, ionize you'll see the current meter go up and right now it uh, looks like it's ionizing at just around 100 volts. Uh, most of them will go a little lower than that, around 75 to 80 volts. And it draws a current of, uh, according to my meter, about 120 microamps. That's not a lot for, for the amount of light they give off, which is probably why they're used a lot. But uh, you'll notice when it uh, loses its ionization that the current falls off to zero. This uh, makes them quite useful in uh, oscillators. You can uh, create a pretty uh, pretty stable oscillator using a neon lamp and some test equipment use that because it uh, it uh, discharges suddenly and uh, repeats the cycle over and over again. Uh, this one here We'll see if we can get it to work without shocking myself. See, this one begins glowing at probably 
somewhere between 50 and 100 volts. Now if you're going to use these in a circuit, you will need to put a resistor in series with it. And uh, normally if you're going to use it in a, say 120 volts AC, about a 100,000 ohm resistor in series with one of the leads here will uh, keep it from uh, drawing too much current and uh, destroying itself or the circuit it's attached to. And uh, that's why you'll see what they call a little ballast resistor in series with it as you see in the uh, drawing here. But uh, yeah, they're uh, used in a lot of places. They're quite unique. Now for the question is why do they flicker when it's dark? And what I can come up with is the uh, only thing that I have found is that when they age, the gas, the neon gas inside the envelope there uh, begins to be absorbed by the glass and, and uh, essentially goes away and uh, they begin to flicker. Now why they stop flickering when uh, light is turned on, uh, your guess is as good as mine. And I don't, I really don't know, but it's a, it's pretty unique quality about them because when they do uh, have photons from light applied uh, to the inside, they, they begin to ionize again. And someone told me at uh, one time you can rejuvenate an old neon lamp by setting it out in the sun for several hours and that will uh, help bring them back to life. I have not tried this so uh, if anybody out there wants to give that a try I sure would like to know if that works or not. Uh, if it does uh, post it in the comments there below because I sure would like to know if that's a, a urban legend or whatever it is. So. Anyway, just a short video on neon lamps and some uh, unusual characteristics that they have. It's not cheap, but I'm sure the government will buy it. We now return control of your television set to you. Until next week at this same time.